Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I'm in my Volkswagen Golf Estate. It's a 1.9 SDI engine. I'm gonna change the oil today. I've been out driving around and I've got the temperature up to 90. Down here beside my hairy leg is the handle. It should open the bonnet. So pull the handle inside, then lift this up, then pull that. While you lift it with one hand, there we go. See, the car is filthy. This car has an automatic thing to keep it lifted up, and we'll get in here. So I'm in underneath the engine, and this is the sump. It's quite hot, and on the back of it, with this halo of oil around it, is a sump plug. It's a 19 mil, so I've got a 19 mil socket, but you could use a wrench or whatever. I've got a piece of cardboard down, and a rag just in case. Put the bucket underneath, and uh, this is where it gets fun. There we go. Oh, it's really tight, that one. It's very tight. There we go. Got it. This is where the rag comes in, clean your hands. There it is, just let it drain off. So while that's draining off, here's the plug. And you can see it's got this washer on it, and I'll show you the other side of it. It should, well, it could unscrew, but it doesn't. It should just fall off. But uh, this should be made of aluminium or copper and you can see on the bench I've got my selection of copper ones so just clip that and give it a twist it should come off will it there we go so you can see on this side here so you can see on it here it's got this little step in it that's where it's compressed uh, you can't really reuse these if you do the Material if this is this might be aluminium, but the ones I'm going to use are copper they um They work harden and so they don't make the same seal the next time and they could become brittle and crack But you can see what my pins getting stuck on there. That's that's already the squeeze that's on it so I've got to find one that fits and I think That one's a bit loose I might use one of those Because I have them and they're the right size Maybe yeah, let's screw these down, and that will uh, squeeze up whenever I tighten it up. So while the oil is draining off, I'm going to do the filter, which is in under this cover here. I'll take off that cap and just set it aside. It should have three little covers like this, but on this one there's only one cover. So snap that off with a screwdriver, and then in there there's a 10 mil nut. The one on the back here, the cover is missing. And that's what it looks like. I don't know what's wrong with that one. And this one's just missing completely. So take out the dipstick, give it a clean set of the side. Then that should just lift off and it does. This is an oil filter wrench, but you could use a strap wrench or something like that. There we go. Sometimes you can do these by hand. You really shouldn't need to put it on too tight. Again, this is 90 degrees like the rest of the engine. So that cover and filter should just lift off. I'm gonna get something to catch the oil. Washing machine door bowl to the rescue. And that's released more oil inside. Get that right in. Let's have a look at this inside. New filter, and there's your numbers, if that helps. Or this one. Let's just 
see before I get this one filthy, does it look to be about right? I think so. Okay. It also comes with, if I remember, it should come with a couple of O-rings as well. So we need them too. So I think we just uh, bite the bullet here. So here's the big O-ring here. Just hook it off. Pull it off with the tool. There's the little O-ring there. There we go. Hook that off. And this should, yeah, it just falls off. That's cool. Okay. Diesel engine oil is not famous for being clean. Let's give it a little wipe. It sits down further one way than the other, so I'm going to presume that that's correct. Set it into the groove. There we go. Okay, let's put it back in. Tighten it up. On the cartridge type of filter, you normally fill them up with oil first and then try and get them on, spilling clean oil all over yourself. This type, I can't see how that would work. So let's get it in. That's it, that's hand tight. And then as tight as you can squeeze it. Let's get the sump plug back in down below. So just looking in there, the threads look pretty good. I just wanted to check that, so I've come down at this angle. So let's put it back together. It'll keep on dripping forever. I'm gonna try and get it in there as quick as possible. There we go. Give it a wipe afterwards. So then to figure out how tight you want it, just Put some weight on it and uh, when you think you're a torque wrench make the click noise. Click. That'll do. If you're using a spanner of the right length it's highly unlikely that a normal person could put too much load on it or too little. That's why spanners and ratchets and whatnot are all designed to be the length they are. Is that a bit of a clean and that's it, let's put oil in it. So putting down that cardboard and taking care meant that I just got a few drips on it there. It's not much, nothing on the floor, it was excellent. So this is the kind of oil I got, 1040. This is the cheapest oil at 12, 12 pounds for five liters. I don't know how much it takes, so what I'm gonna do is put in about three and then see how it looks. Another person would put rags all around it, you know. So it's coming up there now. We want it within that bent bit. So it's halfway up the bent bit there. Push that rubber grommet over there. This one here doesn't seem to be gripping at all. The thread could be sheared. Whatever. Just dip it and see. So it's pretty much bang on there to the top. And start and run it. Oh, actually, probably put in too much, have I? Hey, see, there's a. I might have put in too much. You see that patterned mark there? That's where it should be within. Uh oh. So it's a little bit high at the moment. Let's run the engine and see if it comes down a bit. So because I don't want to put the dirty oil into the new oil can, I've got an old oil can and I'll bring it to the waste transfer station in that. So let's see, I've got my cardboard down. Will I make a mess? 
it's highly likely. Should take it all. There's a little bit in it already, you see. So I'll fix that up to drain the last bit in there and then wipe that out. Okay, so I've run it for about three minutes or five minutes and uh, I've let it cool down for a couple of minutes as well. Not cool down, but drain down. Let's dip it again. Let's see how we go. And that is pretty good. Halfway through the grid marks. So I'll check it again before I go anywhere. And you've got to remember it's tilted the wrong way at the moment because it's up on the ramps. So let's get it down and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so it's off the ramps and let's give it a wipe. And that's it, it's probably a little bit high, is it? Just over the grid marks, but uh, I'm not too worried about that. I think that'll be okay. Ideally, you want a bit less in it. In theory, you could wreck your cylinder head gasket, blow your cylinder head doing that. I don't know. It's more likely that you're going to do damage if it's overfilled to the diesel particulate filter and catalytic converter and things like that. This one may or may not have a DPF, and either way, it has a cat, but the cat is quite an old type one, so they're not really expensive at all. So, you know, so you could always suck a bit of oil out through the dipstick. I've got a lawnmower pump that you can extract the oil with. You could do that, or you could do it all again. Not for me. It's a 16, 17 year old car. So it's the next day and I thought I'd just check it again. The engine's cold at this point in time. So it's still a little bit high, I would say. So I'm gonna suck some of it out, I think. You could, of course, go in underneath your car and take out the sump plug again and drain off a bit that way. But of course, that's messy. So it's come down by two mil there. <laughs> Should I do it again? I guess. It built up much better pressure that time. You could hear that suck there at the end. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe the hose went further down into it or something. I don't know. So that couldn't be better. That's it, just on the top edge of the hatched marks. See, perfect. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't know what mood I'm in that I wanted to suck out that little bit. That's how much it is there. Probably, there's no graduations in this bottle. Probably about half a liter. I think that's about a two liter bottle, maybe. It's designed for lawnmowers. You wouldn't want to be doing the full gallon this way. Right, questions or comments, as usual, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.